Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. You're starting to get an idea. I think some of you who've played Bob's and Angels, you already know what this is like. But some of you are now beginning to get an idea of the complexities of what is involved. Now, if we have a look in here, to build a single rocket silo, I need 50 fluid block 2, electronics blocks 5, construction block 4, motor 4, heat shielding tile, low density rocket control, nitinol plates. Let's just go with electronics block 5. Right, that one in there, I need... Yellow circuit 3, construction frame 5, platinated cable harness, electronics block 4. We won't go with any of them, let's go with the yellow circuits. It's a really, probably going to be a fairly simple basic thing. CPUs, transformers, microchips, capacitors, resistors, yellow circuit boards and solder, once again. Uh, what do you use for a C CPU? Platinum wire, silicon wafers, sulfuric acid. To make that, we need platinum plates. To make those, we need molten platinum. 12 platinum, platinum ore, which you get from mineral sludge or cupric crystals or from other things. So you don't just go, you can't just go and dig it up out of the ground, right? That's just one tiny component of it. And everything has got these long, complex production processes. It takes a long time, but you don't start at that end. You start at the end we've already started at. You start building it from the ground up. And by the time you get to making that platinum, you've already got most of the items there being constructed already. And you don't really fully realise just how far you've gone until you start sort of back feeding through and thinking, oh, wow, how did we get to this point? Now, at the moment... We're running out of red science over here. It's because nothing else is being produced at the minute because we have no green algae. We've used up the little bit in storage that we had. So we're going to get this line here started first and then we will worry about um, firing up a few more. I tell you what, we could do three more inline tanks there. One, two, three. Just to have a little bit more of this. While I make, I just want to quickly dash over here and have a look at that. So I've got 73 stacks of that have been used so far. Just 73 stacks. So I'm going to have a decent warehouse full of this, which we'll be able to use for making the mineralized what's and ots, which is good. That's, that's something that we do want. That, that's going to be great. Let me just grab those tanks a second. And one, two, three there like that. Let's go. That's able, they're just going to keep going now keep using that then i'm going to go over this side and i'm going to go from this point here and i'm going to go underground down to there and then i'm going to go over to you and i'm going to go underground down to there and i'm actually going to do this like that and then that's going to just be a bit of copper going into there like that and a bit of copper going into there as well and as everything's set up and ready to go, so then what we can do is we can go up here. I can remove that one and that. I'll leave the other bits in the middle. That can all go as well. And then I will take this belt. And I want it to go out next to that bit over there. That's going to go like that. And it's going to go up there, and it's going to go along this way, and it's going to go up there. Right, so that's now ready to start. Then I need to go back over this side for the last little bit, and we want to put these down here. Exactly one width all the way down through, and then I'm going to need to just put one here, and I'll put one up there as well to carry the um carry the stuff through right so i'm now making i've only got algae farm level one i can't get algae farm level two for quite a while so we know that this is a fairly slow process i need 80 mineralized water 80 carbon dioxide i've got everything else that we could possibly want in there and this is going to produce 50 green algae instead of the um 25 that the last one was producing 
And there we go. Right, so we're knocking out that one. Now, that's pollution air is minus 1.2 per minute for pollution on that one. That one, pollution air, is 4 per minute. So these things here, these actually absorb pollution. That's pretty cool, that is. That is a pretty cool little feature, that they absorb pollution. Now that these are producing, uh, the picking up two at a time, uh, the belt is able to move the things further along, and we're able to make use of all of these just a little tiny bit faster, which is a good thing. That does help us out a bit. Um, with that now running, that's going to go up over this side. And then that means that these are going to start being consumed. There, see, that's going in straight away. That's going to be used, and then that's going to start using up some of these. But that doesn't make any difference. That's not going to affect us in the slightest. Uh, something that I didn't do was this over here. Copy that one. And put it out onto those. Just so that it brings that in through there. Right. So that's the first line of them. I actually wanted to do more than it, and I've <laughs> I forgot to put a recipe into that one there. Right. So there's one line. I now want to extend that line out and down. And if I had building robots, I would go and use building robots. But honestly, I, because I don't really have much in a way of building robots, there's no point in me changing anything over. So I don't want to go too close. If I go to there, I'd say that's still going to be too close. Uh, I just squeeze the belt in between. But if I want to make any changes, change recipes, add pipes or anything like that, then I'm going to have to rip everything up again. So I'd rather bring it down and have a bigger gap like that and run it through like this. So I will bring out six of them like that. I've got four left, so I will build two more of those while I'm busy doing these other things. One, two in there. Uh, they're going to take a little while to build them. That doesn't really matter though, does it? So we want to put a copper pipe. Can I reach? I can. So I'll do a copper pipe on each side of these. Running its way down through. I got 36 iron underground pipes at the moment, which I'm not sure is going to be enough. And that one there needs to go out that side. It might, well, it'll be enough to do this one, but I may have to go and get some more in a minute. I'll tell you what, I could probably just make a few iron pipes just to, to finish this off. Uh, so then that one's going to go up to there, and it will reach the distance down to there, and then I can put a copper pipe into there. Uh, I will copy this recipe out down onto here like this, and then I'll come in on the underside over here, and I'll remove that pipe... That one will go into there, and then better just put in that one, and then I can take these, and now we can do the underground pipes down on this side, like that, there over to that point. So I've got ten pipes left. Yeah, if I, I'll build a couple, I don't know how many to make. I'll make... F Do I want to make five? It does it in pairs, doesn't it? It's because I got all of those copper ones. I've got a load of copper ones that are available for me to go and use as soon as I finish using up these. You know what? I'll, I'll make them as I need them. I'll make them as I need them. That, that would be an easier way to do it. Let's... let's I've, I've, I've gone and got these. Oh, what? Oh, no! I made too many algae farms. I didn't want to do any more than this. All right, I've, I've got these here. So what have I got in here? I've got... One, two... We, we come out there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's about right there, I think. I hope it is. And you will go... Yeah, that's fine, because that one goes to that point right there. And then we put a copper pipe into there like that. And then I copy that one out, and I run along here. And 
put down another six. So I got 18 algae farms at the moment. I got another nine over there. Maybe we will extend this out a bit. We'll do a little bit more uh, further down. I don't really know at the moment. I know that we've got a little bit there set up and, and ready and running at the uh, right now. I can put these through here. So I've got most... I've actually got all of the copper pipes that I need. Just to do that. That one will go into there. What I don't have is enough iron pipes to finish this off. Because I got up to there. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new pairs. One, two, three, and then five, like that. See, it takes a long time to build them. It takes a very long time to make any of them. Right, let's take you. So I've got one and two right there. One and two over to there. And I'll leave those for a minute. I'll do the belts. So I've got belt going out to here like this. We'll run that one all the way along over to there. Now that's going to come out there. And what I'll do is I'll we'll end up sort of going... I'm already backed right up, so I don't need any more than this. These lines that I've got right here at the moment, that's as much as I'm going to need. See, look at that. That's already filled right up and backed up. You know what I could do? I could do that. Let's just speed that up a little bit. There. Right, that's, that's just going to consume them a little tiny bit faster. Consume those a little tiny bit faster. That's all right. We can do that. We can cope with that. And then I want to go in here. And I want to start putting these through. So this we go to like this. Character is in the way. Apparently I'm getting in the way, causing trouble. And then I will come down here. And I will do two more of these like this. And then when I've done that, I want to go through and I want to do my offset of one on here. Like that. Uh, copy that. And do that on one of each of these. And I'll go through quickly and I will do it on these as well. So that I've got that done all the way through. Keeps that nice and even. And then we can come down here and we can go and put in the last of these underground pipes, which are now running from this direction. That goes in like that and that goes in there and then that one over to there, that one, and then you go over this way. And that's the last of those pipes. Uh, then I want to copy that and I want to run through and put that into there. And then I need to go, now that I've got the algae pattern in... I then want to go with power poles and run down through and put a power pole right next to each of the sets of inserters. Like that. And then we put one there in the middle and we put one there in the middle like that. I will just run a redundancy line over here so that I've got one extra little bit of power running down that way. Just just to help out, it's probably not going to make a huge difference, but it will help out a little bit, I think. And then the next thing that we want to do is I want to bring this one and I want these belts to come up through like this. And I want them to join in. So that one will go in there, and that's going to connect everything in on there. And then this one here is going to go like that, and that's going to... Actually, I don't need to connect anything else in. That's going to do that there. So I've got all of these belts here. It's, it's running into one single belt, but it's running from all the way back through all of it. Now, are you running at the moment? No, you're not. Why aren't you going? Why aren't you... You've got nothing in you... What? Why? That one's upside down. I 
Okay, I've no idea why, but that bottom line ended up going in upside down. So anyway, it's it's working now. It went in upside down. It's working now. We've we we've sort of made sure of that. I've got 18 of those running at the moment, and they're all running up into a single line on here. But all of those are running flat out, and they're showing no signs of slowing down whatsoever. Those could do with going a bit faster so I'm going to run up through and I'm going to speed them up and I'm going to also go into here and I'm going to speed those up and I got a few others so I got the paper in there I'll speed these up here so the paper goes faster it probably it's not going to hurt for me to speed up a lot of these things I don't think Speed up a lot of these processes. And speed up that paper production there. And then... Uh, one, two, three, four in there. I've only got one of those left now, so I won't worry about speeding them up for a minute. What is the production time on that? That is a half second crafting time. And this one is half speed, so that's one second craft time. This one here is a one second craft time. And you are 0.75, so actually I think that this is now going to be using these up faster than they could be produced. So I kind of need to put one of those in there at least. Can I make a yellow factory unit? Yes, I can. Right, well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? I'll make a second one, and I will pop that one into there. Now, these, these grey boards over here, am I using the grey boards for anything whatsoever? I'm not. They disappear off into the rest of the factory, but they're not used in the construction of these, so I don't need to worry about them. The only thing that I do want is more copper cables coming in. The only way I'm going to do that is if I can increase the amount of copper cable is coming in the only way i can do that is if i go to a faster belt and the only way i can make a faster belt is if i upgrade so we want fast transport belts to craft those i need gears which we've got transport belts we've got i need to add bronze plates obviously i don't have logistics to unlock yet but we'll be working on that in a minute so Bronze plates, molten bronze, I need tin and copper mixed together in order to be able to make the bronze or I need nickel thrown in which we don't have or I need zinc which we don't have. So tin and copper mixed together to make bronze. That's easy enough. I can go and do that. In order to do that, I need to go back up here and I need to do the tin and that was the other thing that we were working on before we went off and we got sidetracked with the algae farm. I've now got the algae farm really neat and tidy and up and running. I mean, this thing looks fantastic. This looks absolutely fantastic, I think. That is a beautiful algae farm. That is something to be proud of right there. Let's go to you a second and dump that algae in there. And then I want to go over to this side. And I want to dump that brown algae in there. I've got no use for you. And I'm running around with 110 cellulose fiber. I don't want to be running around with 110 of those. So I'm going to go into you and I'm going to dump that lot in there. Right. So everything is all filled up. Now it's copper. Which I'm going to want to make some bronze for. And if I want to make bronze, I've got to do other things. So I'm doing advanced material processing at the moment. And if I look in here, that's production data cores and green science. Now, hang on a minute, let's go into the map. Green science, it's production data cores and green science. Production data cores, that's these, it's these blue ones. Okay, um, using these up. And at the moment, I'm not actually making those. I've got a shortage of materials. I've got two materials in here. I've got one material on this belt that is not coming through. So if I run back down through, I can see... What is it that I'm looking for on here? Uh, it's the red circuits. That's our problem, is we have a shortage of red circuits. 
And we had a shortage of red circuits because we didn't have algae. I've now got the algae. That's all back up and running. So we just got to wait for the rest of it to come through. And as soon as we've done everything that we need to do in... Well, actually, we don't need to do anything with that. That is absolutely spot on perfect. So now we need to run back up here and go back to developing our tin production and make this a little bit more substantial than what we had previously and that's why we were building in all of this landfill now they're mostly done they're mostly finished so all we got to do is just kind of like figure out how we can do all the rest of it on here and wait a minute why have we got that oh i know why it's because we copied and pasted it wasn't it we, we had a we had a copy paste or a blueprint and it just had the wrong recipe all right, let's set up the next bit, and we're going to do that out over this side. Right, I'm back for another recording session, and by the time you all see this, it will have been a out for a few weeks, but we've not long had 1.0 officially released. We have officially got the 1.0 update, and the big thing that everybody's talking about is... Spidertron. That bad boy right there. There. If we want to craft that bad boy, we need one Factorian fish. A friendly reminder to who knew Factorio before an angel stopped by. Okay. We need a Factorian fish to build the Spidertron. Rocket control units, low density structures, portable fusion reactors, exoskeletons, rocket launchers, radars and effectivity module level 3 to be able to make those. We need the Spidertron tech, which is down here, which is right at the very bottom of the tech tree, or very bottom of that tech. Look at that. There's a lot of tech that is involved with unlocking that Spidertron bad boy right there. There it is. All the way down there. You've got to go and unlock all of this. So we're not getting the Spidertron today. That's that's not happening. But the Spidertron has officially been launched into the game. It is here for everybody to go and use. Should they wish to. Was that the same ore that was in here last time when we were looking? We got that one is working. That's all working as it should. Okay, everything seems to be working as it should. This one here, we don't want it doing this. We're going to want that processing the um, bobmonium. However, I'd also like to change it round a little bit here and not start the bobmonium going yet. Now, I've got stone going out of these and onto this track. And that's coming down through. And that's running down into here. That's processing there and turning into bricks. The bricks are coming down here. They're being used. I've got a stone coming down here and being stored in the warehouse. And the other stone is coming down here. See, it's splitting off of this one. It's coming in through right there and is joining onto that one. And then it's splitting, and I've got coal coming down over there and rushing over this way. And that's feeding into the various lines over there. And then I've got stone coming down here and being used to make these. So it's all being used. So we are using the stone. So I'm getting some stone processing in through here, which means that I will eventually want some of this being turned into stone to go into that to feed this belt that comes on down this way. But what I also want is I don't want all the stone being taken out because as we've seen over... Ooh, that's a new... another new thing. As we've seen over here, we also want the crushed stone. We want crushed stone being brought in and being used. Now, I've got some being stored in here, but I want a lot more than that. So we will work on some more of that as well. Now, the other thing that we've had with the 1.0 update is a new visual on pollution. And the new visual that we've got is the water becoming polluted along with the trees. So what we have 
all around our base right here is this beautiful sickly shade of green water. All right, look at that. The water is bright green all the way around the base. It's the same here. Look, see, it's, it's all green. It's blue up here. This is clean up here. It's nice clean water. And then it turns this lovely shade of green down here. Look at that. That's hideous, isn't it? And I, I, I really like it. I, I like the fact that we've got green polluted water now. It, it, so it, it goes really nicely with it. So we have a look at our pollution cloud. My pollution cloud here is expanding rapidly. There's the edge of my pollution cloud. It's just sort of over here. So you can't really see. There's no green water here. But you come back through. It's still pretty clean over this side. And you, you've got to get right in tight to the base over here for it to really start turning green. Where the pollution is at its heaviest around here. That's that's proper green there. Look at this. That is properly green water in there. So we've got pollution. we we got polluted water now. So that's another new thing that they've added into the game for the 1.0 release. Um... The thing with the polluted water is a few people are asking now for a way to be able to clean the water. Because, you know, it's, it's that visual reminder of just how bad the pollution has gotten. So surely we should be able to have something to clean up that pollution. And so I, I don't know. I mean, maybe there will be a way to remove that later on. Maybe there won't. We'll, that'll sort of be a, a, a wait and see situation, I think, for us. Now, what I want to do next is I would like to build this... But I'd like to build it up here. And if we go and take a look in here, uh, we want to go to resource refining. We've got crushed bobmonium that we're making at the moment. Now, you can use that. And if we put it through this, we get one slag, two tin ore, and one silicon ore. That's the most basic one. And then that tin ore can then be processed through... A situation like this, which will result in us getting some um, tin plates, right? So we end up getting tin plates, and you get more from it, and getting the silicon out at this early stage is kind of a good thing, because the silicon is something that is really, really useful, and really it, it, it kind of, like it, it does really help things out later on like the, the silicon is invaluable it really is so what i'd like to do is i want to fill any of these patches of water right here there like that now i only want to fill the water so that i can put down a new build on here. So, like, I filled the water on there. I'll let the robots keep going with that. They're, they're doing a grand job in here, the robots. So they're doing a really wonderful job, and they're building everything that I want them to build. Uh, what I want is, I would say, we're going to go to here, and I want some ore sorting facilities. I actually want six of them. So what am I building here? That is mechanical parts, mechanical blocks... Mechanical blocks. I'm sure I make those myself. One of those. One of those. Now, what am I short on? I'm short. I need... Cons well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow, and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirt... Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.